All right. I know this is supposed to be pretty short, so I'll keep it um, just very simple and straight to the point. My name is Wesley Brown, and I was placed on the project with Dr. Jaya and Dr. Chandru, um, focusing on ester bond forming chemicals in early Earth environments. And we were mainly concerned with gathering resources in order to uh, use them as a tool um, to be more efficient. Now, I'll get to more on that at the end of the presentation, but first I want to dig into um, how the project went and what all we did. So to start, we of course conducted an initial literature review. We were provided with around 10 to 15 initial articles um, that allowed us to gain a pretty good background understanding of the topic. Now, I would say that each uh, environment that is of concern or like the main environments had around, you know, anywhere between two to four papers um, that were dedicated to them. So uh, there were around five or six um, main environments that are really um, well researched and focused on when it comes to early earth environments for this sort of thing. And um, each of them had a few papers focused on those. And then there were also a few that were sort of overarching. They either covered multiple of these environments um, or they covered all of them. And there was one uh, article that is sort of infamous within our group because we all kind of used it as a backbone for the majority of the project. It was extremely um, dense and was very, very inclusive. Um, very, very informative paper. So uh, that was good to have. Um, moving forward, we were prompted to choose an essay topic based on the environments that we had uh, read about and researched in the literature review. I, in particular, was pretty interested in um, meteorites and the microenvironments that were discussed. So I decided to do my essay on polymerization in tidal pools of early earth and the role of mineral surfaces specifically. So I, my idea with this was that um, writing an essay on mineral surfaces and their role uh, would sort of cover my interest in meteorites and uh, microenvironments that are really um, tied into tidal pools and um, dry wet cycles, things like that. So this is just a little snippet of my essay, the first three paragraphs. All of our essays were supposed to be around a page, page and a half long. I think mine was just a little over a page. Um, so I'm happy to include that uh, if anyone would like to see it. But this is the, the little snippet of it. If you want to read, you're more than welcome to pause. So then after that, towards the end, um, we were placed into groups based on the environments that we chose for our essays. And um, here is where we were able to really collaborate together and uh, use what we had learned not only in the literature review, but also during the research that we did on our own in order to write our essays um, so that we could essentially sift through what we already had and also uh, search for more resources and then ultimately go through everything and sort of filter out what was quality and what was um, applicable to the project and what wasn't. And the goal was to come out with around 20 to 25 articles um, that we could apply to the API that's being created. So as I mentioned in the beginning, um, the end goal of this was to load, you know, a good amount of resources uh, into an API so that whenever future research is being done on early earth environments, um, it can be done far more efficiently. If someone has a question that is specific to an environment, they no longer have to go through Google Scholar or another database, read several papers, you know, just to answer that question. They can actually just type it into chat GPT and um, the API will spit out the answer based on the resources that uh, we gathered. So that is everything that we um, did and sort of overview of the project. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.